Hello and welcome to another lesson. In this lesson I'd like to show you some of the potential of Sibelius's review and editorial features because they're significantly more useful than most people think. If we click on the review tab you'll see most of the review and proofreading features listed here and perhaps the most useful feature and one that you might already be aware of is the ability to add comments to a score and we can add a comment by either clicking new comment in the menu ribbon or by using the hotkey alt shift c and once we've added a comment we can also change the size of the comment box by clicking and dragging its sides or the bottom right hand corner and we can of course also format its text as we would for other text fields either directly under the text tab or in the edit textiles window the shortcut for which is of course control alt shift t so comments are obviously very practical and even necessary when working in groups and sending files back and forth all of the time but they can also be incredibly handy even if you're working on a project alone or even just working on your own compositions they allow you to just jot down bits of information and make notes to yourself without having to affect the content of the score for example sometimes when working on a project you might want to leave something for the time being move on with your work and come back to that unfinished business later but sometimes of course you just forget to come back and if you're using comments things like this are less likely to happen what's also great is that we can skip to the next or previous comment in our score which means we're less likely to miss some now a similar feature is the ability to highlight passages in the score and we find this feature next to comments in the review tab and we just select a passage in the music and then hit highlight and once we've added a highlighted section we can expand or contract its length by clicking and dragging its ends and to delete a highlight we have to select it as we would for other staff objects and then simply hitting delete now if we have to delete a lot of highlights uh, there's a plugin for this we simply select the passage in question then go to the home tab plugins and then under other we should be able to find a plugin called remove all highlights now just in the most recent versions of Sibelius there's been the inclusion of a new feature called annotate and I can remember when this first came out many people were raving about it because annotate allows us to draw freehand in Sibelius when we select annotate we enter annotation mode which allows us to draw freehand and when we turn annotation mode off again the annotations that we made act like other staff objects we can select them we can move them around delete them and if we enter annotation mode again we can even continue adding to them now when it comes to editing reviewing proofreading and even teaching situations the annotation tool obviously has many practical applications it's the first tool in Sibelius that allows us to draw freehand and many people are hoping that this is going to be the first step towards a freehand notation tool that is a tool in Sibelius that allows us to freehand draw things like our own symbols for example However, at the moment, the reason why the annotation tool isn't really a realistic tool for notational tasks is because of a couple of its limitations. We can't, for example, change the thickness of the annotations line, and we also can't change its shape. If you're drawing freehand with the mouse, as you know, it's very difficult to draw smooth round lines. What we would potentially need would be a tool to somehow smooth these lines out or edit them in some way after drawing them freehand. The other thing is that because this is not intended to be a notational tool, by default, when we go to print the score, our annotations won't be shown. If we want to print our annotations, or our comments for that matter, on the printing page, right down the bottom, we have to select the View Options checkbox. And now you'll see that all of the additional information in my score will also be printed, not only our comments or our annotations, but also our highlights, hidden objects, etc, etc. So what we have to do is to go to the View tab back in our score and uncheck all of the things that we don't want to be printed. In other words, whatever we see in the score here will be printed that way. And so if I have all of these view options unchecked, except for my annotations, I should now be able to print my score with my annotations. So yes, you could technically use annotations for notational work, but it would probably be an awful lot of effort. 
Now, just one last quick thing for this lesson. For all three of the review tools that I've mentioned in this lesson, it's of course possible to change their colors, just as we've seen in a previous lesson. We just right click on them, and here you'll see the option to change their color as you wish. And of course, the hotkey is Control J. So I hope that I've inspired you to start using some of these features a little bit. In the next lesson, we're going to start focusing more on the proofreading options available to us.